Chapter 8 The Seventh Seal and the First Four Trumpets Central to the theme of judgment is the scroll with the seven seals. The scroll contains God's plan of judgment, a plan that is both complete and comprehensive and can only happen because the Lamb was found to be worthy to take the scroll and break the seven seals. With the breaking of the first six seals, calamity has fallen upon the earth and upon humanity. When the Lamb breaks the seventh seal, there is silence in heaven for the space of half an hour. Time that weighs heavy upon creation, and yet is incomplete, because it is not the end of the judgment, but the start. The breaking of the seventh seal is the beginning of the reversal of creation in the book of Genesis. The judgment of God will not be complete until the stain of evil is completely removed from creation, an event which will necessitate the recreation of the universe. Following the breaking of the seventh seal, seven powerful angels, or archangels, are given trumpets and each in turn will sound their trumpet to herald a specific aspect of the judgment of God upon the world. This is different than the final judgment, which will be of individuals, for this judgment is upon humanity as a whole. An eighth angel takes a vessel used in offering up incense before God, which contains incense and the prayers of the saints and fire from the altar that stands before God and casts it down upon the earth. This casting down of the holy vessel with the purified prayers of the saints stands as the indictment against a sinful humanity. The patience of God is at an end, and from now on, the only prayer of the sinner that God will entertain is a prayer of repentance, a plea for mercy from the heavenly court. The judgments of the seven trumpets will be partial because there are still those who will repent, and God is offering up to the people of the world a little more time to turn from their sins. The sounding of the first trumpet heralds the destruction of a third of the trees and all of the grass upon the earth. The second trumpet heralds the destruction of a third of the ocean life and a third of the shipping. The third trumpet heralds the poisoning of a third of the fresh water of the world. The fourth trumpet heralds the dimming of the natural sources of light, the sun, the moon, and the stars. Following the sounding of the fourth trumpet, there is a break in the sounding of the trumpets for just a brief moment in time. An eagle is heard overhead calling out woe upon the people of the earth. The eagle is a harbinger of disaster, and his warning is that the soon-to-be-heard trumpet blasts of the last three angels will be far worse than the first four. As we shall begin to see in chapter 9, the eagle's warning proves true. A warning that is in keeping with the words of Jesus in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 10 and verse 28, where we read, Don't be afraid of those who kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. Rather, fear him who is able to destroy both soul and body in Gehenna. Chapter 10 